Hello friends, today we're making pot of gold macarons. They're perfect to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And you can grab the template to pipe the pots of gold on my blog, find the link down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel, I post new videos every week. Let's begin by making the meringue. Place a bowl over a pan with barely simmering water. Add egg whites and sugar to the bowl and whisk until the sugar has completely melted. It should only take a couple of minutes. You can test by touching the mixture between your fingers and if you don't feel any sugar granules, you can remove it from the heat. Transfer the syrup to the bowl of a mixer. With the whisk attachment, start whisking the syrup on low for about 30 seconds. Then gradually increase the speed to medium or to medium high. I added a little bit of powder black food coloring to the meringue at the beginning of whipping. And whisk for a few minutes until stiff peaks are formed. Time whipping the meringue is going to depend on your mixer and also on the speed that you're using. It's time to stop whipping the meringue once stiff peaks are formed. When you pull up the whisk, the peak should be shooting straight up and not bending down to the side. Now I'm going to transfer the meringue to this bowl so I can show the macaronage process a little bit better. Pour sifted powdered sugar and almond flour into the stiff meringue. I'm going to add some more black gel food coloring here because the meringue did not have a deep enough color. And begin folding with a spatula. Fold the batter until the perfect consistency is achieved and I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. And especially when making shapes, you don't want the batter to be too stiff. Again, I'm going to add a little bit more black food coloring to obtain a deep color. It's time to stop folding when the batter is flowing slowly and effortlessly off the spatula. Now we're going to transfer the batter to a piping bag fitted with the Wilton number no. 7 piping tip. And I'm also going to secure the top of the bag with a bag tie so that the batter doesn't dry out and also so it doesn't escape through the top as I'm piping. Pipe the batter inside the template outlines. On the thicker parts, apply a bit more pressure in order to dispense more batter. And on the thinner parts, apply less pressure. After piping each macaron, use a toothpick to spread the batter to the outlines and also to pop any air bubbles from the surface of the macarons. Tap the tray against the counter or against the palm of your hands to release any air bubbles. I do this several times while I'm piping shapes because it also helps the batter smooth out. Another important tip is to always pipe one or two pots of gold at a time and then use a toothpick immediately after piping. You don't want to give the batter a chance to dry because then when you try to use the toothpick to drag the batter to the edges, it's going to be too dry and it's going to form streaks in the shell. Let the macarons dry for 20 to 40 minutes before baking. These macarons actually took me over an hour to dry, even though the weather was pretty dry this day. But since I had to use so much food coloring, the batter was pretty wet. 
I bake my macarons at a 325 Fahrenheit oven. Baking time and temperature are going to depend on your own oven. I bake my macarons for a total of 15 to 20 minutes, rotating them 180 degrees in the oven halfway through baking. After you remove the trays from the oven, let them cool down completely. Now we're going to make the hard syrup for the candy window. Place the sugar, water, and light corn syrup in a small saucepan with a heavy bottom. Clip a candy thermometer to the side of the pan. Then bring the mixture to a boil over medium-high heat. And once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat to medium. Let the syrup cook until it reaches 290 Fahrenheit to 300 Fahrenheit. Remove it from the heat and immediately begin to spoon some of the candy in the middle of the pots of gold. When I first made this, I didn't make enough syrup, so I had to double the syrup. The second time that I made the syrup, I cooked it a little bit less. And you can see here how the second syrup is much more clear than the first one, which was a little bit more yellow because it cooked a little bit longer. Another tip is do not make such a thick layer when you're spooning the syrup in the middle of the macarons. Otherwise, it's going to be too hard to bite through. Let the candy set for about 20 minutes. And now we're going to make the black buttercream. Beat the butter with a mixer on medium high for about two minutes. Add powdered sugar and black cocoa powder and mix until incorporated. If the mixture is too dry, you might need to add one or two tablespoons of milk or heavy cream to help it come together. Be the mixture on medium high speed for one minute or so once it comes together. Add vanilla and mix to combine and then transfer the buttercream to a piping bag fitted with a small round tip. To assemble our macarons, we're going to pipe the buttercream around the edges of the pot of gold. And then we're going to place some sprinkles in the middle. And then top the macarons with another pot of gold. To decorate the macarons, I sprinkled some gold luster dust on top of the pots of gold. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. For the full instructions and also to grab the template, go to my blog, paisantacos.com. I'm going to put a link down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.